This consumer update is brought to you by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. X-rays are used more often and on more people today than ever before. That's because they're extremely effective in the assessment of injuries and early detection of diseases. And they are readily available in doctor's offices, clinics, and hospitals. Some parts of our body absorb more x-rays than others. That's why parts of an x-ray may appear white and others may appear black. The benefits of medical x-rays far outweigh the risks. Although the chances of being harmed by medical x-rays is extremely small, there is a slight increase in the chance of developing cancer later in life and skin burns and cataracts can occur following prolonged exposure or very high doses. It's the radiation dose absorbed by the patient that contributes to the patient dose. Some examinations expose the patient to higher radiation doses than others. FDA works to reduce radiation doses to the public while preserving image quality by establishing safety standards for x-ray equipment, recommending good practices, and conducting educational activities aimed at minimizing unnecessary exposure. In addition, we work with states to annually inspect mammography facilities and test equipment. As a patient and consumer, you have an important role in reducing your risks for medical x-rays. FDA recommends that you ask how an x-ray will help and if there are other options that might be as effective. Don't refuse or insist on an x-ray. The risk of not having a needed x-ray is greater than the small risk from radiation. At the same time, don't demand an unnecessary x-ray. Tell the technologist if you are or might be pregnant. Ask if a protective shield can be used. A lead apron or other shield may be appropriate. And finally, know your x-ray history. You should keep a list of your x-ray examinations and provide that to your healthcare professional. In that way, you will help reduce the risk of unnecessary exposure due to duplicate x-ray examinations. For more information on this and other health topics, visit fda.gov consumer.